the sake of the exercise, trying to do something, else, you know. Well, the whole point of the exercise is controlling what you're playing. Right. You know, and uh, obviously that would be a more advanced thing. We just had, <clears throat> we just hadn't got there yet. I mean, but yeah, you could do that. One flat three five okay. flat three. I mean that that yeah I mean I mean that's I know uh, uh, totally in the for the sake of the exercise not in a it's as long as you're in control of it I mean I'd you know I'd I'd uh, not and, make... and you don't and you don't do that too much you know because if you start to stay away from the root too much it depends on what you're who you're playing with too I mean when we get to actually you know when real life situations if it's more of a freer kind of thing, then yeah, you can stay out there if you want. You know, um, it just depends and, and on how 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 the other people that you're supporting while playing the bass line feel about how you're doing it. Because if you start to like, if you know, if the floor starts to wobble a little bit for them, then right, you know, you want to. And it wouldn't be. It's it's totally. I'm having a hard, apparently having a hard time coming up with a good context for it. But it would seem like it would, if one were in motion to going to the next, you're leading for the next chord. That's yeah. I mean, there's not, there's nothing, you know, there's no nothing wrong with that at all. We just but, hadn't talked about doing it yet. And if, if we're talking one three five, right now the rule, right now the rules have been on the first beat of each new chord or root note. Then beats right. two, three, and four were going to be three, five, three, or five, three, five. Then we added triads plus a one, which means that you can put the one, as well as the one being on beat one, that you can also put it on beats two, three, and four. So that's where that's where we were, you know, so far. Now we haven't talked about like not playing a root note on the first beat of a new chord. Now the second measure of uh, E minor. At the end of the first ending, and and uh, yeah, at the end of the first ending, where it's two measures of E minor, right? You probably wouldn't. Right there is usually, but but you see, you're a more advanced player, so that's why I'm not really worried about you doing that or not, you know. Understood. But for I, people I, just getting started with this, I, I would say the first thing I usually get them to do is. Um, on that second measure of E minor, since you've already established the root on the first beat of the first measure, you don't need to do it on the first beat of the second measure. Right? So, one, flat yeah. three, five, one, flat three, five, flat three, one. You know, something like that if you wanted to. And in, the, in that particular case, coming out of that, I would probably actually throw the... I guess you go either way, whether it's three or five, but as the stepwise motion back to the a mm -hmm. no if you want to if you want to do that occasionally on triads yeah go ahead i don't i don't have a problem with it but you should also be able to you should also be able to hang not doing it sure because some of the challenge of this exercise especially in just a triad form is to be creative just with a minimal amount of stuff to work with because the less you have to work with, the more challenge, challenging it's going to be for your creativity to come up with new and interesting things as you play chorus to chorus to chorus. For example, if you just restrict your choices to triads plus a one and like walk, you know, jazz tunes, just doing that. And that, in fact, that's one thing I actually do. I work on. Is, you know, just, to, you know, because one time. Years ago, I was challenged to do that. And I couldn't, you know, just because I've been doing scale, you know, being had been moving, you know, stepwise motion for some, you know, just to do triads, you know, walk a entire tune just using triads, man, I would, I'd, I'd get stuck. Okay. So that's when I started putting a lot of time into it. And, then, you know, I found that my lines got a lot stronger because when you start combining the more advanced things with it. It's based off this solid triad thing. Because the note job of a bass line is to outline the chord sound. That's what we're supposed to do. Right? 
So, you know, you depending on what the situation is and who you're playing with will determine how much leeway you have with that. You know, different people like different things, you know. 